Yes, good evening, guys, to all of you. I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Byju's Exam Prep. So, guys, please tell me, am I properly audible and visible to all of you or not? Then we are starting the session. So, you know, guys, in this series we were talking about trusses first. Then we have started friction just yesterday. Okay. And we are going to continue from what we have seen yesterday. Yesterday we have seen some basic things related to friction, and now we are going to continue with those only. Okay, guys. So, guys, today we are going to have some discussion about the types of friction, and also we will be having some discussion related to the yes block problems. Madhu Vamshi, hi dear, good evening. So, just guys, like and share the session. Midun, good evening, dear. And my dear, this is some detail about me. Those who are watching me for the first time, I am having 10 plus years of experience, written many research and review papers. These are my areas of expertise. And guys, this is a small information regarding the pre-gate workshop. That workshop would be taken by Rakesh Talreja sir. And my dear, the timing for that would be 12.30 p.m. on 5th of June. So guys, be ready and register for free. So my dear, we yesterday started the friction and we started with this slide. Yesterday the time by chance uh, was changed for the class. Actually there was some technical issue. So we had the class at different timings 11 pm. So guys that's why I am giving you a brief revision of that. So my dear, first of all we understood from that that when we are having some big box we try to move this box. For this try we try to apply the forces. You know when we apply the forces initially box is not going to move. After some time when we continue increasing the force, after some time it starts it start moving. So there is some contact force which is resisting our force. That is why we need to apply some minimum force after which only the block will start moving. So my dear, the force which is going to resist was given the name of friction force. We got to know friction force is coming because of some kind of contact. So we got to know friction is a contact force. Then my dear, I have shown you the classification that normal reaction is a contact force, tension is a contact force, spring force is a contact force, friction is a contact force. Then I told you actually normal reaction and friction, they both are coming because of any contact between two surfaces. Then I told you also the horizontal component is said to be friction, vertical component is said to be normal reaction that we have seen in a great detail. Then I have shown you this figure, this is mg weight acting, this is normal reaction and when you will apply this force, some friction will also be acting. So actually this is friction, this is normal reaction. So net contact force will be the resultant of these two. So that's what I want to say, actually both friction and normal reaction are coming because of contact present between two surfaces. This we have already discussed guys. Then my dear, I told you friction do not always stops the motion. It sometimes also generates the motion because friction has no problems with the motion. Friction have problems with the relative motion. Friction only works to stop the relative motion. So if there is a probability of relative motion, friction will be coming into picture. And we have also seen Abhimanyu MPPSC may mechanical ki kitni vacancy hai. Dear, for that, uh, we will be having a different notification session. I have not uh, presently just checked that. Okay, if I will be checking that, I will be telling you about that. Okay. Okay, let's move on. So guys, just like and share the session so that other students can also reach here. So my dear, this is we have discussed like whenever this person is sitting on the horse. Then my dear, if horse is moving, let us say uh, this is horse. So when this horse is moving, the person sitting on that will also be moving. If force is reaching 5 km, this person will also be reaching 5 km. So my dear here, how the person is moving? Actually when horse is moving in this direction, then my dear friction will be acting on this direction in this way because friction opposes relative motion. If you see this small block, friction will try to convince this body to go in this direction so that the relative motion between the bodies can be stopped. So my dear here friction will be acting in this way, here will be in this way. So I told you for this body friction is creating the motion. And I told you we will see all this thing in a great great detail. Yes, Mangukia Kenil, good evening dear. So let's move on. This is the discussion we have already seen yesterday. 
then we have seen the causes of friction and causes of friction we have seen from two views one is old view second one is modern view from old view what we got to know from old view old view was saying that friction is coming because of the interlockings it was coming because of interlocking but it was unable to explain that why friction is coming out to be independent of area it also was not capable of giving the answer for why extra smooth surfaces are difficult to move then my dear in the modern view they said actually the pressure which is nothing but intermolecular forces per unit area and you know the actual area is found out to be 1 by 10 to the power 4 of the apparent area so as area is very less pressure increases because of that some cold welds are there and those cold welds are actually the reason for the friction so these are the things we have already discussed till yesterday guys okay now i am moving further to the next part where we will be having a discussion on the types of friction so we already have seen there are multiple points contact will be there between two bodies or two surfaces where a resultant force is acting which is said to be contact force it is having two components one is vertical other is horizontal so my dear for this resultant contact force this vertical component is nothing but normal reaction this horizontal component is nothing but friction my dear so friction is horizontal component of net resultant contact force very good madhu Vamshi, very good so guys now we are moving further for this so when we have seen the views we have seen all these kind of things and my dear now i have shown you this diagram also by showing you that this is vertical 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 when you will be adding all the verticals then you will show the free body diagram of this block as mg acting downward resultant of all vertical forces will be normal reaction and resultant of all the horizontal forces is friction so that is how the fbd will be there and yes applied force was there so this is how we have seen the things yesterday now my dear we are going to move further with the types of friction this is the slide from where today's part is starting why i have covered the previous part maybe some of you have not attended yesterday class because it was at 11 pm so keeping that in mind i am revising first now i am starting from this this is the two days work we are going to start now so my dear when we are talking about the types of friction so my dear there are many types of friction number one is static friction number two is limiting friction number three is kinetic friction then kinetic friction is of two types rolling friction and sliding friction but my dear i will reduce this classification to a more simpler one because first we need to understand static and kinetic friction <coughs> rest all will be covered one by one so my dear for making that easier let us start with that i am saying when i am classifying the friction i am saying friction is of two types i am saying friction is of two types very first type of friction is static friction and second type of friction is kinetic friction so my dear when we are talking about static friction and kinetic friction we must know as it is a force we must know three things about that we must know what is the magnitude of static friction what is the direction of static friction what is the situation under which it will be coming into picture the same things when we are talking about the kinetic friction we must know the magnitude of this we must know the direction of this we must know the situation in which it is acting so my dear first let us talk about situation for both then we will be entering into the magnitude as well as direction of both the friction forces so my dear whenever we are talking about situation as the name suggests it is a static friction so it acts when two bodies are at relative rest when two bodies are at relative rest 
एंड अलोंग विद रिलेटिव रेस्ट देयर शुड बी अ टेंडेंसी ऑफ मोशन टेंडेंसी ऑफ मोशन आई विल बी टेलिंग यू वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ टेंडेंसी ऑफ मोशन If you want to understand the relative rest, my dear, I will give you the example. This is a body, and my dear, I am saying that this body, on which the force is applied, some f, but the velocity of this body is zero. So, my dear, the force is trying to move the body, but at present the velocity is zero. You know, for this surface, surface is at rest, the velocity is zero. For this block, velocity is zero. so this is the condition of relative rest this is actually absolute rest also but relative rest we will be taking care of because relative term is going to be used in friction and my dear if you take the other case when i am having this is as one block this as second block so if i am saying this block is moving with 2 meter per second this block is also moving with 2 meter per second so why i said the tendency of motion because this force is trying to move this block if there is no no force which will try to move this then why friction will come so friction is the kind of resistance which will be coming only when the applied force will be there that's why tendency of motion is must here two bodies are in motion so if you see block number a and block number b so block number a and b both are moving with same velocity if you will try to see the relative velocity you know this is b this is a so when you will see the velocity of b from a what is the procedure b is moving with 2 meter per second already you know a is moving with 2 meter per second already so if you want to see the relative velocity what is the procedure for that the procedure is you will be giving the velocity of a to the b in opposite direction this velocity to the b will be giving in opposite direction and this and this will get cancel out so velocity of b with respect to a is zero it means there is no relative motion this is a condition of relative rest okay so my dear there will be static friction present static friction will be present between a and b surface so my dear between a and b surface static friction will be there so my dear now we go to know what is the situation when the force is acting you also know friction is acting to stop the relative motion or you can say when there is a tendency of relative motion but relative motion is not there it means friction was successful to stop that motion so my dear if you see this block b when you are saying block b is moving in this direction then friction will be acting in obviously in opposite direction it is clear or not but my dear about that direction and magnitude we will see later on first of all we are having a discussion on the situation when static friction and when kinetic friction so static friction will be acting whenever the condition is relative rest plus tendency of motion is it clear guys relative rest absolute rest is not required relative rest my means maybe two bodies are moving but they are moving with same speed so there is no relative motion between them but my dear for this surface c and this block a like if you see there is a surface there is a block if this block is moving with 2 meter per second then my dear for this block as this block is moving so my dear with respect to surface this condition is the condition of relative motion because surface is at rest and this block is moving this condition is relative motion similarly my dear if you have one block like this another block like this if this block is moving with 2 meter per second this block is moving with 5 meter per second then my dear in this condition also you will be having relative motion as per the rule you will be giving this 5 meter in opposite direction to this so overall if you see 5 meter in the left 2 meter in the right it will be having 3 meter per second in the left so my dear this is a this is b this time velocity of b with respect to a is there so my dear it means relative motion is there and whenever relative motion will be there definitely friction will be there is it clear for everyone so my dear what i want to say that kinetic friction will be coming in case of relative motion okay 
and this will be coming at the condition of relative rest. Obviously, tendency of motion should be there. So, we got to know the situation for both static and kinetic friction. Now, we will see my dear what is the magnitude and direction of static as well as kinetic friction. So, my dear when we are talking about the static friction. For that let us conduct an experiment. So, my dear when we will be having this block. So, on this block we started applying a force F. And my dear we got to know that there is some coefficient of friction. Coefficient of static friction was given as 0.5. This body was having a weight of 20 kg. So, my dear Coulomb's law of friction states that actually that maximum value of static friction is mu s times n where mu s is coefficient of static friction and my dear this is coming out to be equals to mu s is 0.5 normal reaction will be you know that if it is 20 let us take it 20 Newton rather than 20 kg. If I will say the weight is 20 Newton, normal reaction is acting vertical upward, force is acting in this way and friction force will be acting in this way. So, you can see whenever there is no motion for the body in the y direction, so in y direction body is in equilibrium. So, you can write n is equal to 20 by putting summation f y to be 0. So, my dear you will be saying 0 0.5 into 20. Then my dear it will be 10 Newton. So, what do you mean by that? We started plotting a curve between friction force and applied force. Initially my dear we applied a force of 1 Newton. So, my dear whenever we are studying about the static friction, static friction is called as self adjusting force. Static friction is said to be as self-adjusting force. Static friction is said to be as self 